Let's now look at the effects over here. Now these effects do apply onto a picture, onto a layer, as if it's you know using it on a picture. So let's go back to our layers here. I'm going to hide these things. And let's bring our background layer back up again. Make sure that you're on that background layer here, our picture layer. Back to our effects. So we have quite a few effects. We have faded photos. You can use these to give a faded photo old-fashioned look. We have framing. Here's a frame with a little drop shadow. Here's kind of a little squared frame and a little text panel style frame. Some miscellaneous effects in here. Monotone colors. Old photo effects. Vintage photo effect. Or we can look at everything at once and there's not that many in here actually as you can see. Not a whole lot of effects in there. Let's take a look at the vintage photo. Same thing, I can drag it over here or just double click and it will apply that effect. There's a vintage photo effect. It actually works out quite well with this particular illustration. It's an old ship. Having an old vintage photo look seems to work out just fine. So there's one of those effects. Let's try this one quickly. Okay, it's changed the layer. So again, make sure you go back to the layer. Sometimes it'll do that. Sometimes it'll pop off the layer. So if you get a little warning dialog box, just go back and double check your layer. Okay, there's that effect. Not so good. Let's just undo that pencil sketch. Let's go back to our layers again. Yeah, popped off. So let's go back here. These are pretty obvious what they would do. Let's take a look at those frames. These are kind of interesting. Let's look at this one here. Double click on that. And he's just putting kind of a, a framing effect in here on that picture. And let's undo that recessed panel. Let's just double check our layers again. Yep, came off. Not really sure why it does that, but there you go. Let's look at our little text panel. Click on that. And it puts in a little text panel thing for you down here. So there you go. That is working with these different effects. And as you can see, the effects are applied onto the contents of a single layer. Basically, if you're working with photos, these are all photo style things. Filters are applied onto the contents. Styles are applied onto the whole layer as, as just one unit. And that's it. That finishes off our look then at these different effects. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.